Hey, what's up everybody? Good morning, and we're coming at you from Knobles today, here in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Legend Molly's here, and uh, can't wait to show you around. I'm gonna show you all the rides, the roller coasters, the food, the games, all the fun stuff there is to do here at Knobles. And I mean, part of the adventure of Knobles is getting to Knobles. Google took us down like a, a one lane road on the hills and mountains of Labrador forest crossing. of Pennsylvania. Oh my. Yeah, so it's an adventure getting here, but uh, I'm excited. So let's kick off the tour of Knobles by starting off with the park's newest roller coaster. This here is Impulse, built by Zaire a couple of years ago. Not many rides like this in the US built by those guys. Uh, Eurofighter style ride, pretty fun. Great first drop in this big barrel roll here. Not barrel roll, cobra roll. And uh, it's a fun ride. Uh, smooth, I love that it's lap bar only. Awesome vertical loop right here. And uh, that lap bar only with the vertical lip and then the, uh, and this is my, that's not my favorite part of the ride. Keep coming up after this turn is my favorite part of the ride where you get this big slow inversion and then you go down into an upward helix and that's my favorite part of the ride. Now, Molly, you had something you found really, really interesting on, on Impulse here. There's booster seats. Yes, if you're, there's like a height stick, a double height stick. So they, they measure your child, and if the kids are tall enough for height stick one, but not height stick two, they, uh, they put these big booster seats onto the coaster. They put a, give the kid a sticker, yeah. so they know that they need a booster seat. Yeah, like, it's crazy to me. I mean, it, it's, it makes it, you know, not something I was expecting to see, right? I guess it's more family friendly. Absolutely. Now, when you think of Knobles, the ride that probably comes to mind is the famous Phoenix roller coaster. Old time roller coaster. They moved it here. It was originally built, I think, in the 40s. Moved here in, uh, sometime in the 80s, I think. This might not be the right date, so please don't be kind to me, comment section. But uh, Phoenix is a fun ride. Great airtime roller coaster. Uh, I, we just rode in the famous Row 3, which is known for it to be like the best airtime on the ride, and it lives up to the hype. Really fun ride, uh, quite enjoyed it. We rode in towards the back, and then we rode in Row 3. It was definitely way, way better that second visit in, in Row 3. Uh, I, I am not the Super Phoenix fanboy. Like, there's some people out there that have this as one of their top 10 wooden roller coasters. I, I'm definitely not in that camp, but it's one of my favorite rides, if not my favorite ride in the park. So my most anticipated ride of this entire Pennsylvania trip was this guy right here. This is Flying Turns, and you can't really get a good shot of it, but it is the wooden bobsled coaster that they were working on for like six to seven years. And it was fun. It's, uh, you know, it's so incredibly unique. And uh, it's not particularly wild. There's like one or two turns when you're really like, oh, whoa. But it's really kind of like you're riding a giant piece of furniture and a piece of roller coaster history that they brought back to life here at Knobles. Can't get a particularly good shot of it anywhere, but, uh, it's, it's, you're in just free rolling down these big giant barrel-like turns. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. It's weird though, like they make sure they weigh you beforehand to make sure you could ride and then you gotta ride in a certain order based on weight. <laughs> it's, so it's definitely a very different kind of thing, but uh, you know, I, I liked it. It was so unique and uh, I'm happy they finally got it working after all these years. And uh, give it a thumbs up for me. And here comes a dog. You can bring dogs to Knobles, and you see them everywhere, and it makes me smile every single time. This large building here is home to the Black Diamond, an indoor roller coaster and dark ride themed to uh, like a haunted coal mine. I love this ride, it's so much fun. It's really long, I feel like you're in there for three minutes at least. Uh, more of a dark ride than a roller coaster, but just some, some weird stuff in there, like a dinosaur, a spinning tunnel, uh, a coal miner smoking a cigar. Just some bizarre stuff. Now, this is one of your favorite rides in the park, right, Molly? I think it might be my favorite because it's so unique. It's so different. Very, very different. I believe this is a ride they moved from, I think, the Jersey Shore, like the, the hardware, and they give it a whole new fresh theme here. But uh, if you're coming to the park, do not miss the Black Diamond. And I believe for a while, the Black Diamond was not included with wristbands. It is now included with wristbands. So I'd uh, make sure you check this out. Quick shot of what the cars look like on Black Diamond. You just roll these little, like, uh, one, two, three, four row cars. It's really, really unique little ride. This is the second of the two major roller coasters here at the park. This one, the session major wooden, traditional wooden roller coasters, it's the Twister. And first of all, I love the sign for the Twister. Like that is a, a great, great roller coaster entrance kind of sign. Um, the ride's really weird. It's got two lift hills and um, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's rough. I would say it's a bit jittery. 
got this real big helix type turn that it runs through twice. But overall, I, I really like the ride. It's going to come through the turn again right here on the lower level. Molly, are you a uh, Team Twister or Team Phoenix? Phoenix? Me too. Uh, I yeah, like the Phoenix better. Definitely. Phoenix more of an airtime roller coaster for more of my thing, but this is a, it's a really fun ride too. And also that layout is so unique. And it's got a fun tunnel. It's really cold in the tunnel. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Parts home to Skloosh, a big old shoot to shoot ride. And this boat's going to come down and make a big giant splash. So boom. Oh, got to worry about in the loop the camera there. And uh, not, these are not me rides. You know, I don't like getting soaked. I do like that they have this um, giant Viking statue here, right by the entrance. And I also like the look of the ride, like the, uh, I don't even know what you call that, it's the rock wall kind of thing. I think it fits in with the park really well. Another absolute classic here at Knobles, the Flyers, and uh, these, they have a reputation for being the best Flyers, and I really think they are. I'm not great at doing the Flyers, but uh, and you can get these things moving pretty well, as you can see a lot of other people do too, and it's just wild. I also love that this thing appears to be powered by a legitimate, like, tractor motor. But, uh, man, these are, uh, pretty, uh, pretty wild. I, I definitely dig it, especially if you get them moving. Another classic Knobles ride, the scooters, the bumper cars, these things are pretty epic. You heard that collision? These things, when they crash, they're, uh, they're rougher than most bumper cars, and they're awesome. I, I love that. Normally I skip bumper cars in most parts. I do not skip the bumper cars here at Knobles because they're just way too much fun. And uh, I, I can't recommend them highly enough. Oh, man, yes. Violent, though. Not good if you have uh, anything wrong with you that might be hurt by bumper cars. Don't go on. Here's the Whipper, a classic antique whip attraction. Super old. Again, another thing where you're riding like an antique. And what I love too, right next to the Whipper, is they've got one of these flying tiger style kids rides. So there's an adult whip right next to the kitty whip, which I think is a really cool placement thing. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. I am your host, The Legend, who's now going to talk about the ride. Uh, ride's great. Uh, this is a classic, classic dark ride. Um, a million gags in there. The ride's in really good shape. And you can tell there's some like kind of projection effect that must have been added recently that was continually upgraded. And even then, like, I jumped a couple of times. It is extremely dark in there. I'm not sure we really get the story of the ride. You're in a, a haunted house for most of it. And then for the last 20%, for no reason, you're in the jungle. Uh, one thing about this that's a bit of a bummer, it does, is not included with your wristband. So if you do want to ride the haunted house, the haunted mansion here, it is $2.50 per person. Uh, so just be prepared for that. If you're going with tickets here at Knobles, then it's just going to be a, a ride like anything else. But I, I love this. I'm a big fan of dark rides, so this is, you know, one of their best. This might be my favorite ride in the park just because I, lo I love the dark ride so much. Uh, Molly, what are your thoughts on the Haunted Mansion here? It was definitely unique. I don't know if I understand it because there's a uh, goats and wishes, witches yeah, and, and like, up. skeletons and monsters. And and there's a, a demon in the oven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but nope. it is uh, definitely unique and you should probably go ride it. You gotta do it, yeah. Here's the park's log plume attraction. No surprise that a park like this would have a log plume. And a two drop log plume, not the biggest log plume, doesn't really do anything too particularly interesting. But uh, good to have some water rides here because it's pretty warm in Pennsylvania today. Comes out of the station over there, goes up drop one, goes around the back, goes through the woods a little bit, which looks nice. And then uh, down the big drop. Sure splash. Gotta love the carousel here at Knobles because when you go around, you can try and grab the brass ring. And uh, gotta love that. Currently we're on this chairlift here at Knobles. And uh, like a lot of things at Knobles, it's kind of weird. You, um, it's essentially a chairlift to nowhere. It takes you up a mountain next to the park. And uh, that, that's kind of all it does. You don't get off, you just uh, turn around at the top. I do get a really cool view of the park in general though. You can see the Impulse roller coaster over there. Really nice view of the Twister. Uh, all the numerous flat rides, the giant pool and water slides. We're not going in there over there, but they do have a giant pool and water slide complex here at Knobles. Not a lot of water slides, it's like a couple of those old timey looking water slides right there. 
and that giant pool. So it's uh, like every a lot of things here. It's kind of old fashioned. Uh, hey, great view of the mountains and stuff in the surrounding area, though. I'm assuming this is probably why the sky rides here. The ride up is not. It's really not a, very interesting. I was hoping to see like bears or something, but there's none. Just just some corn. Here's a view from the top of the chairlift. You are really, really high up. So we just got off of the Cosmotron, which is advertised as a sound and sight experience. Essentially it's like an indoor Himalaya ride, but then they have effects in there. So there's lights, there's lasers, there's a disco ball and haze machines. But what made the ride, out of all the songs, the guy put on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air <laughs> theme song. West Philadelphia, <laughs> born and raised. <laughs> it was amazing. Like, it was, it was so much fun. Like song. the full one that nobody Not, knows most yeah. of the verses to. Not but, uh, the credits. Like the ride started going and the music cut on it, I just started laughing. Like that was so much fun. Uh, and they have different songs they play, I guess, but that being one of them, like, oh, that's awesome that that's a that blast. Big thumbs up. I think that was the most I've seen you smile since we came to Kenobel. It was great. <laughs> so, just got off this thing. It's called Downdraft. And uh, riding it was a terrible mistake because it spins a lot more than I thought it would. I thought, like, it throws you up in the air like that. Might be some fun airtime. Didn't really get that feeling, but uh, just spun around so quickly that I almost vomited up my pierogies. <laughs> Molly, I don't think enjoyed it either. I but did I think not it, enjoy it. But I think I... she had fun with how much unfun I had. <laughs> I didn't mind it. Oh, and then at the end, it goes into death spin mode here. So if you're not already really sick, now you're gonna get really sick. <laughs> Thumbs down for downdraft. So it wouldn't be Kenobles without playing some Fascination, which we haven't played before. It's kind of like uh, bingo, except you roll the ball down, and then depending on which row you get, you get up, and you win. I, we played, uh, so we played about five bucks, I won twice. Didn't win any prize prizes, but if you play all the time, it's it's a got some stuff. You can win a lamp, on table a crock pot, to more like carnival games, towels. It's a very interesting selection of stuff. Shooting into the sun here for the 1001 knot, which is not a good ride. The restraints are so tight. It feels like the whole time you're riding it, you got a brick in your stomach. Uh, I only really wanted to ride it because there's that weird YouTube video of the person that's in love with it. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, it makes the rounds on Facebook all the time or YouTube. It's, uh, it's bizarre. So that's why I wanted to ride that. I gotta say, don't don't quite agree with that person's emotions. Molly, are, would you be in love with the ride? No, no, no. it's not, not a good ride. No. This sickening looking ride is the Super Roundup. A unique flat ride because you stand up while it's going. And um, it's also a, a, one of the larger models of this too. Like I, I think they have a lot of smaller ones that hit fairs, but this being the, the Super version, it's up. Uh, it's pretty big. Some more stuff that's uh, unique here at Knobles. They have a uh, bald eagle sanctuary for bald eagles who can no longer fly. And they have two of them. They tell you all about the two eagles here and how they, uh, and why they're in the habitat. Because they, they both uh, you know, can't fly and exist in the wild anymore. And it's just interesting. Also, just more weird Knobles stuff. Like, right next to this is uh, a house of some type. I don't know if these are rental things through like the campground and then, then this building. That's, that's not actually in the park. What what is that? It's just uh Kenobles is kind of a strange place. So Kenobles is home to a miniature train ride. It goes in their kids section of the park, which has all adorable rides like these little mini cars and stuff like that. And I've never been on a miniature train before, so this is kind of neat for me. Uh, the seats are tiny. It goes over the rivers in the park, and it's just um, really cool. Like, obviously, it's, it's famous like Walt Disney was into miniature trains that I've never been on one. And uh, you can take some other stuff like they have this crazy looking slide here that looks very old. And just great, I didn't even know there was a ball pit. We've already been around the park twice. And you got other stuff like you have the little puffin pups like it uh, Knott's Berry Farm has, a wacky kids carousel thing. Just some really unique stuff here. I, I love the Knobles is almost like a museum about theme parks with rides you can ride. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's a very unique place and a uh, miniature train is definitely part of that. And again, a lot of things are in its fine, so your miniature train is now going to go over the motorboat cruise area. Love it. 
You can almost do a classic pirate ship style ride. It's kind of interesting, it's kind of up raised a little bit so it looks bigger than it is. Uh, I decided not to do this one. It uh, looks like I would get a sick. Quite sick. Nope, definitely not for me. Uh, but I, I think Fletcher is uh, quite enjoying it. Oh, look at that. It splits more. Wonderful. And you know what makes it even better? It goes backwards. Nope. There are not too many rides at the theme park that I actively dislike. The power surge here is one of the very few. I just I feel like you're upside down the whole time and ugh. This is this it's very much this is not a me ride. Nope. No no. One of my least favorite rides out there. Power surge. No surprise that a classic park like Kenobo is home to a classic scrambler attraction. Looks like one of the older ones from the, uh, the look at the inside there. Feels like an older scrambler. Also probably looks pretty cool at night with these uh, old timey lights on it. Over in the corner by the Phoenix roller coaster, there's a couple of flat rides here. There's a wipeout. There's a big spinning pendulum ride called Fandango. Not, not one of the larger models of it. Here's Over the Top, the ride they built in, I believe, 2017, and they have not been able to really get it to work. It uh, was not running today. It hasn't run much of anything since they built this ride, so do not expect this guy to be working on your visit either. But it is right next to the antique cars, which uh, looked like a good time. Takes you out on a nice long journey over through the Phoenix roller coaster and things like that. But one thing I've always wanted to try is that they do like a scary version of their antique cars during their Halloween celebration with scare actors and theming and stuff like that. It sounds pretty neat. So this is a really fascinating ride. It's, it's the motor boats. There's no track. You can drive this boat wherever you want in this little like trough thing. Gasoline powered mini boat. And uh, there's some really low bridge effects like right here. They're also not the easiest of things to drive. But um, it, it's such a unique attraction, this thing. And I guess it goes right underneath their kids' coaster. Come on, boat. Yep, the coaster's gonna go right over us. Not a very good at boat driving. Ah, here we go. Now I got it. Stratosphere is the park's drop tower. It's now a good 100 foot. It will give you a really nice view of the park. And it's one of those drop towers where you don't know when you're going to drop because you can't see the top of the, the, the tower. And then when you get to the top, it just releases you right away. So it's a little bit freakier than some of them. Roto Jets over here, your classic Dumbo style ride. And then a favorite of our own, Drew the Intern, the Paratrooper. A couple more classic spin and tube rides here. You got a Tilt the World and you got a Teacups. I actually think these teacups are really interesting because they move, they're on a turntable, and then they switch between each one. Knobles has some weird stuff too, like here we're currently in a carousel museum with a whole bunch of different carousel horses and then weird carousel animals. And it tells you like how old the animals are, like this tiger here, uh, built by the Herschel Company in a uh, the Herschel Swimming Company in 1918. Like if you're like a theme park history buff, this is kind of a, a really neat area. So not only is Knobles amazing because it allows dogs, but once a year they do doggy dive in the big pool here. Like that would have to be the cutest day ever. But it can also smell. White dog is not a, not a happy scent. Knobles is home to a miniature golf course, so if you want to take a break and play some mini golf in the middle of the day, I think it's like 4.50 or so. No hand stamps are included, no tickets are included. And then right next to this, I always find this interesting. There's a sign here, this park tends to flood just about every year, and this is the different flood levels. Obviously, 72 is the high level, but then you look like 2018 went up to right there. So, uh, Molly? Yes. 
And you need to just pose next to the sign so people know how tall it is. See? So 2018, it um, was, in, was uh, at midriff level. If it, this was uh, 19, this was 2011 or 1972, she'd be drowning. But uh, you can see this, this, the flood levels and the river is like right over there. Look at how cute the building is for the fudge kitchen. And I like this too. Uh, some of the, they have signs around Knobles to show you how old some of the buildings are. And like this Stony Gables building, built in 1933. And I mean, it's just adorable. And I have to go in because Molly said it smells amazing in there. Let me open the door. Sorry. And it does. You open the door and you're hit with a big taste of waft no, of deliciousness. Like and of course the chocolates would look amazing. I didn't see but so over here is the old mill where you get some ice creams and snacks. I love that you have to go over a little bridge to get there. But what I really like is this water reel, which then spins all these different contraptions and levers and stuff like that which then ends up spinning this entire roof structure that people dine underneath. Neat. So that you got more classic theme park stuff here in a water fountain inside of this giant lion's head. See, Molly's getting eaten by the lion now. Love it. This corner of the park has some uh, local artisans selling their crafts. So you got a uh, woodworking over here. And then over here, you've got a, uh, a blacksmith. Over by the Haunted Mansion is Laser Command, which is uh, where you play laser tag at the park. I think there's a laser maze in there as well. More fun midway games here. This is tic-tac-toe, it's 50 cents. And you roll the ball and you try to get three in a row. Let's see Molly's skills. All right. So there, she's got one. Number two. All right, she has no chance to win. But uh, it's cool, I love the Midway games here. They're uh, so inexpensive and they're fun to play. Like, this is very different. More Knobles weirdness, like this giant toy soldier guy who guards the bridge going to the other uh, section of the park here. I think this is an incredibly adorable sign that their swing ride is not in action today. I'm not even mad. Well, I wouldn't have gone on the swings anyway, but the sign's just adorable. I mean, that's just adorable. Please feed me paper. Yum! You're curious what the most terrifying photo op is at Knobles? Gotta be this, right? But it has a dog wearing a top hat. I mean, he's cute, but then, uh, you know, Ronald McDonald over there with abnormally large hands. Freaky. If you're a press penny fan, they have 37 different press pennies at Canoles, and this sheet here shows you where every single one of them is. General store, impulse image, mine museum, chalet, treasure chest, so neat. More great Canoles charm right here. Love the french fry sign with Cosmo on top, dropping salt on them. The park's home to a really, really nice Christmas store. You get that, there's like a box to write letters to Santa and that kind of thing. But what I love, they have a, like their own collection of ornaments and they're really nice. Take a look at some of these guys. It's more of a Halloween one. One for the Phoenix. Impulse. Got a flying turns here, which I think is my favorite. Phoenix. There's a classic carousel. Twister and then just a house. More carousel, more kind of wolves kind of stuff. One for the Haunted Mansion, which is cool because it has like the sign from out front, but I'm not pointing at that one. And then something I really like, not, not something I would use, but they have a, uh, for model trains, they have Knobles boxcars and stuff like that. So if you're a big model train person, like that's so neat. More uh, unique stuff here. This building is home to a Mining Museum and also a Knobles History Museum. Here's <laughs> the Mining Museum. And again, it's an interesting place, Knobles. All, all about mining, mine rescues, and of course, for some reason, dinosaurs. So this qualifies as something I did not know Knobles ever had, the Country Bear Jubilee, <laughs> which the bears Sang songs, just like at Disney World. In the 50s. Yes. Now, Molly, I'm guessing you're pretty sad that this is no longer here. I am. I yeah. love the country pairs. Mm -hmm. 
some other cool stuff in here. They got like an old Ferris wheel and uh, one of the uh, over the top cages. And then just a whole bunch of neat pictures and stuff like that, all about the history of the park. So if you're a fan of roller coaster t-shirts, uh, Knobles has you covered. They've got an insane selection. Like most of these shirts, this is the shop nearest to Phoenix. Most of these shirts are all for the Phoenix roller coaster. So if you wanted to buy a Phoenix roller coaster shirt, there's no way you would have a reason not to buy one, as there's about a million. They do have a couple for flat rides, so like there's one for the over-the-top ride that they, they just opened and I don't think quite works. But uh, holy cow, they have so many shirts. So Knobles is famous for their fun food. We're starting off our fun food section of the video here at Backyard Barbecue. A couple of fun things. I was thinking pork chop on a stick, but I couldn't pass up the bacon on a stick. So three bucks, get your bacon on a stick. A uh, sizable piece of large bacon. How does it taste, Molly? Decent bacon. Decent bacon, three bucks, not bad. We got a soda, two sodas for 275. And I just love the weirdness of Knobles that there's this photo op here to remember your trip to the backyard barbecue. You of, of on the stick and yeah, corn. Corn with one tooth, with a pad of butter on his head, holding up the world. I wonder what the creative process was when they built this thing. So if you want to sell me something at a theme park, just have a cool looking penguin pointing the way. And that's what happened here at the Cookie Nook, which is uh, like kind of their baked goods thing and it looks so tasty various cupcakes. I almost went for the mini cannolis. Look how good they look. And there's also like awesome Rice Krispie treats. And of course a whole bunch of cookies. Chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, snickerdoodle, rainbow. Rainbow looks good. Fudge, I didn't even see fudge filled. Oh, I messed up. All right, so we went with the, just the traditional chocolate chip. Looks good. Taste test. Very soft. It would be amazing warm, mm. but very, very soft. Oh, yeah. Really good. Well, penguins never leave me wrong. Up next on the food tour, it's Mama's Homemade Pierogies. Six of them for $5.75. This is located over here by the Power Surge. I don't really think this building has a name. Maybe it's the Oasis, but uh, we're getting pierogies. They do not skimp on their portions here at Knoebels. So this is what that 575 got, this giant bowl of pierogies. Uh, they, they look really good. Let's give them a, a taste test. See the, can you pick these up or are they gonna fall apart? I think you can pick them up. Okay. Well, hot. But they're really good. You can tell mm -hmm. they, they feel, they taste very fresh. Really good. So I love that the park has a lemonade booth that is straight out of Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's wonderful. We're now hanging out over by the Phoenix for the next stop on the food tour, and it's a Tiger Tail. This was two dollars and fifty cents. It is a uh, a hot pretzel stick coated in cinnamon sugar and then striped with caramel and hot fudge or chocolate sauce, something like that. But uh, I guess we cut this probably, right? Probably, yes. All right. It, it looks wonderful. It was only uh, $2.50, so not very expensive. Weird, because normally you would think it would be like a churro, but for it to be a pretzel is kind of weird. All right, if she's going for more, that probably means it's very good. It is very good. It me melts in your mouth. Uh-huh. Uh. It's super good. Mm. I highly recommend it. Oh yeah. It's not what I expected, but it's really good. Check it out, our next snack. We got a Dole Whip sampler, five bucks. It's adorable. It comes in its own little boat. And it's pineapple, mango, lime, and strawberry. Awesome. Alright Molly, we're stuck on the top of the Ferris wheel. Time to end up the video. Our day at Knobles. I, I loved it here. This is my third visit to Knobles. And uh, this is the first time I really spent a full day here. First time I bought the wristband and been here for more than like two or three hours. The other times it was just like hit the credits and the classics and get out. So uh, I, I really enjoyed that I got to, you know, stay here and relax and ride some things I wouldn't have ride. Uh, price wise for the wristbands, it is a little expensive. They're $44. Um, if you want to come in and just do a couple of rides, that might be the way to go to save some money. It, it really depends on how long you want to spend here. 
but I, I did enjoy going and doing a different trip here this time where I went on a whole bunch of rides that I would not have rode if it was like a ticket thing. You know, and I, I went on things I've never been on before in my life. I've never been on a roller plane. I've never been on a miniature train. And um, I, I love the time here at Knobles, situated nicely in the mountains, as you can see. Uh, the new rides, I really like Impulse. Nice, smooth ride, but uh, Flying Turns is the winner for me just because that ride is so unique. And then the whole park, it's just, I, I'm a Knobles guy, so I, I'm a fan. Uh, it, it's such a unique place. So many rides that are here that you would not find somewhere else. So uh, I get a big thumbs up. Molly, not the big amusement park person. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on Knobles here? It was way bigger than I thought it would be. I I mean, like, the only time you took me here, we spent maybe two hours. Mm -hmm. And all I remembered was uh, the Phoenix and uh, a lot of kids' rides. Yeah, I mean, they do have a and ton of rides. Haunted Mansion. I think there's like 64 rides in this yeah. park or something absurd like that. Which is way, way bigger than I thought. Mm -hmm. I love the food. The snacks are amazing. And the prices on the food is really good. Yeah, even the games. is really like very cheap to play some games. Mm -hmm. And then I love the dog policy. Oh yeah, like we're kind of dog people. We don't have a dog, but we're dog people. So the fa like every time I would walk by a dog, I start smiling because it's just neat to see a dog in an amusement park. Uh, yeah, I also like I love their dark ride stuff like the Haunted Mansion and the Black Diamond Those are you know, they're classic style dark ride haunt kind of things and that's a lot of fun. So um, If you're anywhere near the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania that Knobles is situated in I would definitely make my make an attempt to come here um, If you have all day get a wristband if you don't have all day come here and buy some tickets Really kind of look at the prices and see what's best for you but I, I cannot recommend this place highly enough. I, I just think it's it's so unique. It's, we, we travel a lot for theme parks, and we thank you for that because without watching these YouTube videos, we would not be able to travel as much as we do. And I uh, couldn't thank you guys enough. Come to Knobles, skip Downdraft. Very, very unique ride. Nice stuff. <laughs> yeah, their, their ride lineup is, uh, there's so much stuff you just don't find elsewhere. If you're curious what that chairlift looked like we were on earlier. All the way up there and back. And I really, I'm excited for the future of Knobles, see what they do. Uh, you never know what they do. They could do something like Impulse, or they could go and do something classic like Flying Turns. You really, it's a, a very unpredictable park. <laughs> also, one thing that was weird, the loaf here, they don't serve any like bread or anything. Like they, I would think it would be like a sandwich location. No, it's the Cookie Shack and frozen yogurt. Uh, Cookies are delicious. Yeah, what was your, do you have a favorite snack? Um, uh, maybe the tiger tail? Tiger tail for you? I, I'm thinking that bowl of pierogies. Oh, that was really good too. And the raspberry dole whip was really good too. You don't find yeah. that much. And uh, overall, great day. Uh, really nice place. So if you get the chance to come to the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, hit up Knobles. If you have any questions about Knobles, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you all next time.